So my dear students, I welcome you to today's lecture and I hope that you are well. If you did not uh, subscribe my channel, please subscribe it and press the bell icon button as well so that you may get the notifications of newly uploaded videos in time. Now I am doing a FSC first year inter part one mathematics and I am doing a chapter number seven permutation, combination and probability. And I'm doing its uh, exercise 7.2. If you have some uh, doubts or if you want to ask me something, you may message me on the WhatsApp number given on the thumbnail of every video. So I'm doing short questions of exercise 7.2. And I have told you that I'm doing the questions which appeared in last few years board's exam as short questions, okay? The first one is 12P5, find 12P5. So we know that NPR, this is the permutation, equals to N factorial divided by N minus R, the factorial, right? So it means that 12P5 may be written as 12 factorial divided by 12 minus 5 factorial. Okay. So this may be written as 12 factorial divided by 7 factorial. Okay. So 12 factorial is 12 11, 10, 9, 8, and 7 factorials, okay, divided by 7 factorial. These two got cancelled, and we left with 12, 11, 12, 11, 10, 9, and 8, equals to, the answer is, Nine five zero four zero. Okay, so let's take the second question. Okay, second question. It is uh, find nine p eight. Nine p eight. So using the same formula, you have nine factorial divided by. 9 minus 8 factorial, right? <clears throat> so this we can say 9, okay, 9 factorial <clears throat> divided by 1 factorial, which is equals to 9 factorial straight away, which is equals to the exact answer I will write it for you. <clears throat> K nine factorial three six two double eight zero three six two double eight zero. This is our required answer. Let's go for number three. This is very important question. Okay, this is very important question, and and I like it very much. N P uh, two equals to thirty. N P two equals to thirty. Find the value of N. Right, we know that N minus two. Uh, this will be N factorial divided by N minus two factorial using the form. Okay, so I'm just writing it. Okay, this is equals to n factorial means n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial. Okay. And you know that and you see n minus 2 factorial will be cut by n minus 2 factorial. 
now we have this implies n n minus 2 equals to 30. We can write it so n n minus 1, sorry, divided by this. Okay. So we can say n n minus 1 equals to 6 times 5. Okay. <clears throat> so it means that we can write it to 6. Uh, n is equal to 6 will be the answer because 6 into 6 minus 1 equals to 30, right? Because, so n is equal to 6 is the value. Now find the value of uh, 11 p n. p n. Where this value is 11 times. 10 times 9. Okay. So, right, we can say it, the left hand side is 11 factorial divided by 11 minus n factorial. Right. Right. Okay. So, let's multiply it by. Eight factorial and divided it by eight factorial. So now this is the eleven factorial return factorial divided by eleven minus n factorial, which is equals to eleven factorial divided by eight factorial. Now we can see 11 minus n equals to 8. So 11 minus n equals to 8. This implies that uh, n equals to 11 minus 8. Means n equals to 3 which is our required answer. So this question is also very helpful. Okay. 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 Now the next question is, this is also a very important question. Question number four. Okay. How many signals can be given by how many signals can be given by five flags of different colors of different colors colors using three flags at a time using three flags at a time time right so therefore n is equal to five five and r equals to three so the number of permutation will be so, <coughs> required number of signals will be equals to NPR or equals to 5P3. So, 5P3 can be calculated as 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 3 factorials. 5 factorials may be written as 5 
into 4 into 3 into 2 factorial divided by 5 minus 3 is 2 factorial. This 2 factorial got cancelled and the required answer is 5 times 4 times 3 equals to 20 signals. Sorry, 60 signals is the answer. So, with the help of these five flags, we can make 60 signals using three fl flags at a time. Right? So, let's number five. Okay, calculate 12p7. Uh, right? Say the question is 12p7. So we can use it by using the permutation from 12 factorial divided by 12 minus 7 factorial. So equals to, this will be 5 factorial. So we write it 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 factorial divided by 5 factorial. This 5 factorial Cancelled with this, we left with 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, and 6. Okay. Uh, we can use the calculator for finding these values. Right? 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6, 3 double nine. One six eight zero. Okay, it's talking that in the long questions, when we have to use these values, so we don't do every step in finding the permutations. We just use the calculator to find the answers and we use that answer. But uh, for the short questions, we have to get the marks and we have to show every step. I hope you understand it well. If there are some doubts, you may ask on the WhatsApp number given on the thumbnail of every video. And if you pass on some suggestions, you may pass on all the suggestions on the same WhatsApp number anytime. Please subscribe my channel, press the bell icon button, like and share my videos, and tell the others also. And an important note is that we have finished ninth and 10th course, and uh, we have started first year course, and slowly but steadily, we will inshallah finish it in time. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you very much. Allah Akka Hamya Nasirhu.